I'm happy to attend the opening of this very well-timed ultra-modern complex, the first of its kind in Africa. With a global decline of pollinators on our, on our minds, a better understanding of the local African pollinator diversity, their ecology and health status will provide valuable insights on which we can build upon to ensure we maintain this critical service for the benefit of, you, of future generations. The International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology, ISIPE, has launched a world-class laboratory which aims to protect Africa's bees and help farmers produce top-quality honey and works for international markets. The lab will improve the understanding of bees and boost food security by protecting these important pollinators. Since about 2006, we have seen a dramatic decline in honeybee populations in North America and in Western Europe. This is called colony collapse disorder. It's been linked to the onslaught of multiple factors, parasites, viruses, pesticides, poor nutrition, and stress. Many of these brought about by us. These challenges can only be met by scientific insight, like we are creating here today. So on behalf of all the partners, <laughs> financiers and the management of this great institution, I'm humbled to preside over the official opening of this great scientific thing. Thank you. In Africa and across the world, bees are crucial for agriculture and the environment. More than 70% of the world's major crops rely on bee pollination to grow and flourish. Bees also provide the much-needed income for smallholder farmers who sell honey, wax and other products. It's because of the immense benefits that come from bees that ICP initiated this research program for bees in order to understand their physiology, ecology and genetic makeup, thus ensuring the continued benefit of bees to humanity. However, Honeybee populations from the world are struggling with attacks from parasites such as varroa mite, infection with disease, the dreaded colony collapse disorder which has decimated bee populations in the USA and parts of Europe. The laboratory will strengthen and modernize the research and development in bee health and African beekeeping in general for diversification of rural uh, resource poor farmers while stimulating positive natural resources that maintains the integrity of the ecosystem. The African Reference Laboratory for Bee Health is the centerpiece of a three-year project funded by the European Union in Kenya. It was constructed with the support of ICP's core donors, the German Federal Enterprise for International Cooperation on behalf of the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, the Government of Kenya, the Swedish International Development Cooperation, the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, and UK Aid. The EU is committed to joining forces to addressing the challenges that face farmers, smallholders, and livestock herders in Kenya and Africa at large, continuing our long-standing support to Kenyan agriculture, food security, and drought management. I am pleased to say that this will be one of the main three pillars of our development partnership going forward over the coming six, seven years with some 21 billion shillings. The lab will improve the understanding of bees and boost food security by protecting these important pollinators. I would also like to thank, uh, this, uh, to thank my uh, predecessor, the former Director General of ICIPE, who is in the audience today, uh, Pr Professor uh, Christian Burgmeister, for initiating this work. I just happen to be at the right time, at the right place, and I happen to share his vision to finish what uh, he started. So CPE will intensify the quality of the research uh, and to significantly benefit not only Africa, but the rest of the globe. So this facility is just the beginning of that journey. Looking beyond bee health and protecting crop pollination, the laboratory will also work to boost rural livelihoods by developing community-owned marketplaces for honey, wax, and other bee products. It will train farmers to produce value-added products and develop testing and certification procedures which will open access to markets across Africa and beyond. 
this Africa-wide approach will allow for the incorporation of strategies, harmonized procedures and legislation for bee health into national development agendas to take full advantage of the benefits of bees and beekeeping. I now declare the African Reference Laboratory for Bee Health officially opened. Thank you very much. Thank you.